Let's take a look at the features and applications of Podium XRT using this Barcelona exterior design model. XRT supports all of SU Podium and Podium browser material properties, so this model already has a number of materials with reflections and bump maps. You can see when I click on the water material and open the SU Podium material property that it has reflections and bump map already applied. So when we're ready to start Podium XRT, just click on the icon. And the first thing that happens is the, the surfaces and materials are exported from SketchUp to the rendering engine. And I'm just going to make this scene a little bit bigger, the rendered scene. And you can see that the sample rate, as it gets higher, the image gets clearer and clearer. Uh, right now I've set the sample rate at 20. The sample rate is the number of samples taken per pixel. The higher the sample rate, the greater the quality. However, because there's a very good AI denoiser being used, increasing the sample rate may have diminishing rate of return. In this image, you can see the sample rate of 20 produces good results. But this Barcelona model is pretty small. Now, there's another way here, I'm just moving around inside the model. And you can see every time I move the position of the camera inside Podium XRT, sample rate starts again, starts calculating again every time you move the camera. There's also another way to move around the scene and that's synchronizing Podium XRT with the SketchUp scene. And let me just turn on this stay on top button so that XRT scene is always on top of SketchUp. And let's try that again. I'm going to synchronize. And I synchronized with the noon scene and you can see the time difference is, is different. This is a noon instead of 6.15 in the morning. And then let's try um, scene four and then we'll synchronize to scene four and then there's scene four. It's very quick the way the camera just immediately uh, synchronizes. You can also change the time of day inside the SketchUp scene. Let me go back to 6.15. And what I'll do here is I'm going to move using my right mouse button and the control key. I can move the time of day. Um, from right now it's 6.15. I could move it to an earlier time. That's too dark now. That's too early in the morning. So I'll bring it back to six, but that's basically using your control key and right, right mouse button, and you can move the sun across the scene. You don't have to do anything in SketchUp. Now let's take a look at the render settings. Let me get it back to um, a lighter time of day. Okay, so let's take a look at the the render settings and this is where you decide on the sample rate um, there's three different options but they all basically uh, define the sample sampling and again sampling is the number of times each pixel is sampled so I've set this for 20 um, and you can go higher, um, but there's a built-in denoiser, so you don't really need to go very high. In some cases, you might want to go higher than 50 um, if you want to get a really crisp type of um, image. But really, you can pretty much stay below 50. In this case, I'm using 20, and that seems to be plenty enough. Now let's take a look at the light settings. Oops. Oh, I'm changing the sample rate back down to 20. Um, okay, let's take a look at the light settings. 
In this case, we only have sun and skylight, or physical light, in the scene. By moving the slider, I can increase or decrease the sunlight's brightness. Um, and these artificial uh, light sliders are not needed, they're not used. And there's no point light, so there's no uh, soft shadow uh, needed. Uh, point, the soft shadows are primarily for point lights. And there's also two different um, tone mapping um, sliders. One is for exposure, and the other is gamma, which is basically increases the light in dark areas. Exposure just uh, globally makes the, the scene lighter or more exposed. Once you have the best settings and you want to use these over and over, you can create a preset. Uh, I'm saving this and calling it Barcelona 615S, meaning I'm using simulated clear sky. Then I can use this preset again on the same computer. Currently presets are not transferable to other computers. The presets are saved in Windows registries or on the Mac in a P P list. So here we you you can create any number of presets. Um, you might name them specifically for a particular scene. Now let's examine background settings. So we have two options. One is the simulated sun and sky from the Silver Lining Library, and the other one is HDRI or IBL background lighting. It's image-based lighting. And so I'm just rotating around. I'm in simulated sky right now, rotating around. And I got different options. There's a cloud, uh, fine. There's two options for fine. Um, there's two options for cloudy. And now, <clears throat> let's take a look at HDRI options. There's um, six or seven that come with the program. And you can see as I picked afternoon, I have to really um, decrease the physical light. The, the HDRI lighting is brighter than the physical sky, uh, the, the simulated sky. So I have to decrease that. And I can move the position of the sun, like this, in this case, sunset two, the sun is located on the horizon. I can move it around to, to a better position or wherever I want it to be. If you want it to be on the right of the, of the structure or on the left or um, behind the camera, for example, I can move her around and then adjust my physical sky accordingly and create your own preset for this particular uh, scene. Let's take a look at the ways of saving. I'm happy with this image and I want to save it. If you're happy with the viewport resolution, such as on the Macs, which have very high resolution, you can use the screen capture option. So wait until all the sampling is done, save it with the screen capture option, and it just saves it immediately. And you can choose the file format you want to save it to and the folder. Now the second option is using the camera icon, which is save an image. And this you can see, you can be precise on how big or what the resolution should be. You also notice here that the, there's a way to create panorama, equirectangular images, and this is where you would do it. Uh, we're not going to do it now, but if you pick the custom and put the exact size of the image that you want, and then you basically say where you want it and then save it. So 
So in this case, I chose the PNG option and OK. And once again, um, the always on top option, that little button on the on the far right, will keep the uh, SketchUp or Podium XRT scene always on top of SketchUp, which is nice sometimes when you're rendering. And that's sort of an overview look at the major features.